Right, how you doing? I'm Jason McClure, we're at Sazerac Restaurant today, and uh, I'm here to talk to you about cast iron, one of my favorite things to cook with, um, for a couple of reasons. A, cast iron is very hot, it's great to sear things in, it's highly durable, if you take care of a cast iron pan, it'll last you forever, you can ta pass these down for generations and generations. What I see a lot with people is they're not exactly sure how to season a cast iron pan properly, uh, and if they're not seasoned properly, they don't work as they should and people kind of put them off to the side and you find them in the bottom of somebody's uh, pot and pan counter kind of rusty so let's talk about how to season a pan first I've got a couple of them here in front of me uh, one is uh, an example of a pretty new cast iron pan uh, this has got a lot of texture to it not quite smooth this is another cast iron pan that's been highly seasoned that I use often and you can see it's almost like a non stick surface on the bottom once it's been seasoned like this, it's great because after we use it, you can almost just wipe it out with hot water, put a little bit more oil in it, and it's ready to go again so it's very low maintenance once they're seasoned properly. Uh, and what we would do, let's talk about why, why we season cast iron. Cast iron itself is very porous, okay? So uh, the process of seasoning cast iron is basically giving it some oil. Uh, in this particular pan, I might give it about an eighth of an inch of oil. Uh, important that it be uh, a neutral oil, like uh, vegetable oil, canola oil, maybe grapeseed oil. If it was something like extra virgin olive oil, it's got a lot of organic matter in it, it can actually go rancid, so you don't want to do that. You want a nice, light, clean canola, vegetable, grapeseed oil, something like that. Give it about a sixteenth to an eighteenth uh, to an eighth of an inch of oil on the bottom of the pan, so pretty liberally. go ahead and cover the bottom of it, swirl it around a little bit, and then I would put this pan, this new pan, into a low oven, probably 200 degrees, and I'm going to let it sit in there, maybe even a little lower, 180 degrees, the lowest your oven can go. You can pretty much leave those things in there overnight, or at least leave it in there for two to four hours. And what's going to happen is the pores of the cast iron open up, it allows the oil to sort of sink down into the pores, and as those pores get filled with oil, it really creates a sort of non-stick cooking service, which we really love. Okay? You can repeat that uh, process as often as you like. You'll find the more that you season your pan in the oven, the less, uh, the less you'll have to actually season it. Um, and that's it. Let it go for a couple hours, take it out, get rid of the oil, give it a nice wipe down, uh, and, and keep it dry after that. Just a little bit of oil in there at the bottom. You don't want to leave water in these things because they will create rust. If that happens, go ahead and clean it up, give it oil again, and go for the seasoning process again. But if you continue that, and you keep them clean, and you keep them seasoned, you'll enjoy this cast iron forever, and I guarantee it'll be your favorite pan to cook out of as well. Come back and join us. See us at, uh, see us at Sazerac Restaurant. We'll cook something in cast iron for you. Enjoy.